On today's show, Volvo Trucks uses autonomous technology to harvest sugarcane. Nissan adds automatic braking to its most popular models, and Subaru creates even more powerful versions of the WRX and BRZ. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show for enthusiasts of the automotive industry. For autonomous vehicles to become a reality, they will have to know very precisely where they are in a given environment. And Bosch and TomTom just announced they've come up with a way to make a very detailed map of the area around a vehicle. By taking existing radar sensors that only detect moving objects for things like auto braking and smart cruise control and modifying them to see static objects, the system creates billions of individual reflection points to reproduce the course a road takes. The localized map is meant to be a supplement to a larger overall map, but it's so detailed a vehicle can determine its exact location in a lane down to just a few centimeters. Not only will this information be used by the individual vehicle, it can be sent up into the cloud and back down to other vehicles on the road. And there are a number of added benefits to using radar over video data for maps like these. Radar can see at night and in other conditions that create poor visibility, have a much further detection range, and transmit half the amount of data compared to video. Bosch and TomTom expect the technology to hit the market before 2020. You know, we like keeping you up to date on new products, and here's the latest. Auto Forecast Solutions reports that the next generation versions of the Chevy Colorado and GMC Canyon will start production in early 2022. The mid-sized trucks are on pace to combine for around 100,000 in sales again this year, so I think it's safe to say GM can call them a success and plan for all new models. Toyota and Lexus made a commitment last year to equip all their vehicles with automatic emergency braking as standard by the end of this year, and now Nissan is stepping up its game. The automaker will make the technology standard in the U.S. on seven of its most popular models. That should equate to about a million vehicles for model year 2018. Automatic emergency braking uses various sensors to detect other vehicles and will apply the brakes to avoid or minimize a crash. NHTSA says if all automakers use the technology, it would eliminate 20% of all crashes. We'll be back with more right after this. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. Last year, we reported how Bridgestone was stepping in to give owners of the Jaguar XJ220, which came out in 1992, a good replacement tire. As a quick refresher, tires for the supercar were nearly impossible to find because most had gone out of production due to their oddball sizes and need not to shred apart at speeds eclipsing 200 miles per hour. Now, as the car celebrates its 25th birthday, the tire maker has released a really in-depth video detailing how the whole project came together, from designing the original tire all the way down to the new tire XJ220 owners can buy today. I would not be recommending the video if I did not think it was worth a watch, but I should note, it's not short at over 40 minutes long. Speaking of tires, GM recently announced it's committing to sourcing sustainable natural rubber for its tires. The automaker believes some of the benefits will be helping preserve and restore forests and improving crops for natural, for natural rubber farmers. It's a needed transition, and as Michael Martini, president of the OE division at Bridgestone Americas says, Bridgestone is committed to creating a thriving and sustainable natural rubber industry. We applaud GM for making such a visible leadership commitment to the responsible use of this renewable natural resource. The work to achieve a sustainable natural rubber economy is never ending and will require collaborations with industry players as well as broader stakeholder education and awareness. Coming up next, Volvo Trucks uses self-driving technology to harvest sugar cane. 
Lear Connexus is the new application suite in vehicle connectivity designed to deliver over-the-air software updates and more from Lear Corporation's eSystems, leaders in power and data management. When it comes to autonomy, most of the focus is on making passenger cars self-driving. But the engineers at Volvo Trucks are coming up with a unique way to use the technology. Last month, we showed you an autonomous garbage truck it's testing out. And now the company is applying the technology to harvesting sugarcane in Brazil. Currently, the crop is brought in from the fields using harvesters and manually controlled trucks, which drive alongside each other at low speeds. When a truck is loaded and drives off to empty its load, the next one moves up next to the harvester and the process is repeated. But by doing it this way, about 4% of the crop is lost because plants get run over and the soil gets compacted, which can cost farmers thousands of dollars per year. So Volvo equipped the truck with autonomous technology and because it's more precise, it can save around 2,200 pounds of sugarcane for every two and a half acres harvested. Volvo Trucks is bullish on the technology and says it can see it being available for commercial use in the foreseeable future. Subaru introduced two new performance variants to its lineup. The first is the WRX STI Type RA. It's powered by a turbocharged 2.5 liter boxer engine, which cranks out an estimated 310 horsepower. Its weight has been reduced and the suspension has been upgraded. The second model is the BRZ TS, which has been tuned by STI. Its suspension and chassis have been reworked for improved performance, and it comes with a carbon fiber rear spoiler and other unique features. The vehicles arrive at dealerships in early 2018, and only 500 of each model will be sold in the U.S. Pricing will be announced later. But with that, we wrap up today's show. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend, and we'll see you right back here again on Monday. Wards is the industry leader for news, data, and analysis. That's why companies across the globe subscribe to our premium service, maybe even your own. Log in for subscriber access now. Check your company's intranet for details and rely on wardsauto.com to keep you informed.